Hey, I'm Billy Harris, you're hanging with Harris. We are at the legendary James Beard House in New York City. Tonight is Chinese New Year. The great Peter Chang is doing a Szechuan dinner, but first, I'm gonna have a fabulous monkey shoulder whiskey cocktail made by my good friend Freddie May from William Grant & Sons upstairs. Let's go check it out. My good friend Freddie May. How are you, Freddie? Well, good, I'm hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris. Freddie is the global brand ambassador, innovator, spirits, mixology category manager for the whiskey portfolio for William Grant & Sons. Yeah, I work on the innovation side of our whiskey business for William Grant. It's all our new up and coming whiskey brands that we're bringing in. And Monkey Shoulder, you have a monkey on your shoulder, Do will indeed. be part of that portfolio. This is uh, flying off the shelves like hotcakes, they would say, right? Is that yeah, the term? Yeah, we just can't keep it in stock right now. Monkey Shoulder is a very contemporary, modern whiskey from Scotland. Sure. It's a Scotch whiskey, but it kind of goes where Scotch fears to tread. So what we've got here is a cocktail. We're gonna zip it up with a little bit of lime juice, yep. uh, even it out with some honey syrup instead of sugar syrup. I much prefer honey as a sweetener in cocktails. And then we're gonna add a little bit of uh, equal parts of pineapple juice and rice milk as okay. well. People might be thinking, oh, how do I do like a rice milk thing you with know, well, whiskey? Rice milk, it just has this mellowing out uh, yeah. quality in there, yeah. and it doesn't have the overly creaminess that a coconut cream or milk has. Should we give it a shot? We should give it a shot. That's All what right. we should do. Let's I'm do ready. This. Okay, I have my gold jigger. Is that going to fit in that little glass? We should find out right We're about gonna now. We're going to find out right about now. I'm going to make the limes just cry a little bit into that quarter ounce of a lime tears. A quarter ounce of lime tears. This is about uh, four parts honey to one part hot water. Okay. Quarter ounce again, so it's equal parts of lime and the honey syrup. So just syrup. cutting the honey with water. And then we're going to use three quarters of an ounce of, this is pineapple juice. Okay. And it's not from concentrate. A bunch of fresh ingredients here, that's beautiful. And then the same amount again with rice milk. Okay. I like the whole rice milk idea here. Uh, monkey shoulder, so it's a triple malt whiskey from Scotland. It's the naughty nephew. Okay. Uh, it's got three single malts, hence the three monkeys on Explain the neck of the bottle. Explain to me the triple malt thing. What does that mean? So essentially we take three single malt distilleries that are all from the Speyside region in Scotland. So none okay. of them are medicinal, none of them are smoky. Okay. We age the whiskey separately at those distilleries and then vat it together at the end to produce okay. monkey shoulder whiskey. And it's pretty much a new product altogether? It's a brand new whiskey? Or this has been that? around for roughly eight years, eight years in the UK, but it's okay. been in the US. It's pretty new. It's been in the US for about two years now. Okay, so well, this is this. We're gonna add into here then a one and a half ounce of okay. monkey shoulder. Did they tell you where the name, Mr. Innovation? Yes, I'm... Where is the name coming from? Monkey Shoulder. We want to know. I'm so glad you asked. Aren't you glad I asked? <laughs> yes. Monkey Shoulder is called Monkey Shoulder because it refers to an old temporary injury the guys used to get when they malted barley in Scotland. Okay. So the old school way of malting barley, part of the process is you spread it on the stone floor of a warehouse. And then you pound it with your shoulder? Almost. No. You get guys with wooden shovels and they yeah. pound away at it with the wooden shovels and to the, turn the it by hand. And the shovel hitting the shoulder? And they would get an injury on the shoulder which would, would cause it to hang down a bit and they cause it monkey, monkey shoulder, shoulder injury. All right, so to back up, we got limes, we got honey, we got the pineapple juice, we got the rice milk. Yes, and, and then go with a, little a couple of splashes of Angostura bitters. And that's it. That's it. Load up your glass right to the top. Boom, good. So we gotta do the thing? Yeah, slap well, it. That's we're going to double strain this because I'm not a particular fan. Why would fan. somebody double strain? Well, well, I'm not a fan of chunks of ice floating around on top of my drink. And now you're going to just a little garnish it with lime a little more wheel lime. on the top. There we go. That is triple happiness. The monkey yeah. shoulder triple happiness. Oh man, is that good? It's really balanced well with the honey. Picks up the pineapple. Uh, obviously, the acid from the lime. And this monkey shoulder is lovely. So, Freddie May, we are at the James Beard House. This is a perfect cocktail. I'm gonna have a little more, because it's delicious. Thanks for hanging with Harris. Billy. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure. We'll see you real soon. So we're in the kitchen of the legendary James Beard House in New York City. My very good friend, Peter Chang. Ni hao. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Mary Lee. Hello, Mary, how are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Now, Peter, Mary told me that you worked at the Chinese Embassy in Washington, D.C., correct? Uh, and now you're in Virginia and you have five restaurants. Yes. And you're going to do one of your famous dishes, correct? Susan. Susan, yes. This is the grandma's pork belly. Grandma's pork belly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your grandmother taught you how to cook this. Yeah, we <laughs> use the pork belly marinated with uh, 14 different spices Okay. for 24 hours. Uh, That's a Sichuan peppercorn. Then make you 
Vietnam, Vietnam, ginger, yes. and a green onion. Yeah. Smells good already. Then take the pork belly right. in the pan. Right into the pan. pan. Yes. Pan fry. Pan fry it. to both sides. Got Golden it. brown and a crispy. Cilantro. Cilantro. That helps cut the heat a little bit, Mary, a little bit. <laughs> cool it, cool it down I'm, a little yeah, bit. Then I'm more getting more nervous. More. Oh my god. That's and a lot. So much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So that is a dried chili, a Sichuan. Dried Sichuan chili, deep fried it oh, with the sashimi seeds. That's yeah. the peppercorn powder. Peppercorn, right? Powder, yeah. yeah. Peppercorn powder. Mm -hmm. And it's a dried oh, Sichuan dried, chili. Right. Okay. You have to stir. Keep stirring. Oh, also, the chili is very tasty. So, Mary, this is a very authentic Sichuan, authentic Sichuan. Chinese dish. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Plate. Beautiful. I like this pan fried pork belly, spices, steaming, <laughs> cilantro, peppercorns, red oil, sesame, yeah. and a lot of chilies. A lot of chili. You should try a little bit. Chili. Oh, I'm going to try it. I'm, I have my water ready. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. It looks beautiful. Oh, it's too spicy, huh? <laughs> yeah, spicy. Here we go, kids. Here we go. It's hot. <laughs> but the nut... But you know you're alive. Yeah. It, feel, it feels good. It's delicious. It's, you know what? Mm -hmm. I've never had Szechuan real Chinese cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peter Cheng. Thank you you're so much. Sir. Mary Lee, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And it's our pleasure. It's, yeah, we're going to be here. So it's going to be a great night at the James Beard House in New York City. Peter Chang, Mary Lee, thanks for hanging with Harris, and we'll see you real soon.